Alright, so the TCMMRC rebuild is coming along nicely. We've got the ESC in there, the flight controller, the motors, and also the BEC that's going to power the flight controller. So everything is coming along quite well. Uh, it's all tested and working no smoke so far, which is great. The next step is to get the video transmitter in. So this video transmitter that came with the drone is the XF5804 Pro. And I'm going to be installing this and you'll see that uh, it only has three wires here. Um, so that's the five volt, the ground and also the video signal, but it doesn't have smart audio uh, autom um, already installed uh, from the factory when they built this drone. So I'm going to try and wire that up. Um, I think the protocol for the smart audio is IRC Tramp and uh, so we'll be going through that when we start configuring all of this in Betaflight and I'll show you that. See if it works because I'm not actually sure. I've heard, I've read a few forums that some people have been having troubles trying to get this to work so we'll give it a go and uh, we'll try and debug it and sort it out. So I'm Nempem, let's get into it. So, like I said earlier, we basically will be having to wire up the smart audio and looking at the wiring on this, you can see that the top one there, that's already the red wire, is the input voltage, 7 to 24 volts, and the flight controller is already going to supply it 10 volts. As we saw in the last video, um, it has a BEC for 10 volts from the flight controller. There's the ground, there's a the second wire down. The second last one down here, which is the yellow one, is the video. That's a video signal into the video transmitter. And we're going to have to get the data in, which is smart audio. So I'm um, just having a look at it on the other side. Yep. So we'll give that a go. Um, and you can see that the wire harness here, I'm just going to reuse it. The data is just going to be a plug that I'm going to be putting in there and on the other side as well we will see on the flight controller so on the wiring diagram on the flight controller i'll be wiring it up in the same plug and that will be t3 so you can see that there I'm not sure why they didn't do that in the first place uh, maybe they couldn't get it working and decided just to not put it in so i'll give it a go if it doesn't work then we will have to configure the uh, video transmitter using the manual mode um, it's a series of button sequences and led flashes that you have to follow um, I'll link the uh, instructions in the description down below. So we'll see how this goes. We'll try and wire it up. So let's undo this one. We'll take this plug off. And just making sure we remember that this side was going into the video transmitter. So the wire is going to the right place. Uh, I'm going to take from this other harness that I've been using and stealing from. I'm going to take the green one and I'll wire that up. So, lifting the tab, the plastic tab, and pulling out the green wire. The other side. So now we've got the green one. It is a bit shorter than the existing ones here, but that should be okay. The video transmitter is only sitting on top of the flight controller anyway, so the extra wire is not really needed. So I'm going to have to try and cram that into the, uh, the space anyway. So I've already forgotten which side actually goes into the video transmitter. So I think it's this way. Just checking that it is the right way. Power at the top, video signal at the bottom. And the data is the last one on the end next to the video signal. So I'm going to plug the green wire in. It has to go this way. Okay. So pushing it in and then pressing on the plastic tab and pulling back on the wire. On the just a bit firmly, not too, t not too hard. 
that it would damage the wire but um, yeah that's in now and so on the other side the flight controller it will be the one that's the bottom most so let's plug the other side into the flight controller just to be sure so I think it goes in this way and we'll need this green one to go where T3 is so I'll just point that out on the flight controller here so right here at the bottom there's T3 so that should be this bottom one here on this plug so I'll undo this and getting that green wire and I I might try and twist it around slightly and push this in and plug it into that last one there I might use this stick to try and push that through okay and I'll turn it over just to see that the tab is plugged in I'm not sure if you can see that on the screen there but all right so that's now in so it looks a bit strange but let's just try and plug this in so this one here was the one that went into the flight controller just triple checking here that we do have the power with 10 volts over there the second one is the ground which is denoted by a dash or a minus sign um, the video signal the yellow one is video out from the flight controller into the video transmitter and then the T3 which is um, the transmit of the UART T3 that will actually go into the video transmitter so uh, I believe I would like to have the video transmitter facing this way so that we have the uh, connector for the antenna facing the back here so might be a bit hard I'm gonna have to route it around there somehow I'm gonna probably push these this way and twist it so it sits around the standoff like that and just for this to fold over and go into the video transmitter so let's give that a go video transmitter can go on top like this make sure I'm not pinching any of the wires like that and pushing this into the video transmitter okay so the plugs in I'll hold that down I'm just gonna put the nylon um, stack screw nuts on just to hold it down I'll put two in for now and we'll go and check the wiring again just to be sure that when we power it up that we haven't got the wires the wrong way and destroy the video transmitter I think a little bit of extra time just double checking things saves you from destroying components um, a small little error just because we didn't check uh, is a shame if you just destroy a component and then have to order something else and then wait weeks for it to arrive so let's check that on the video transmitter we have the red wire here that's the 7 to 24 volts ground on the next one the video signal which is video here and also data the green one that we've just put in that's on this one here so I think that's right and the next thing is is we need to plug in the antenna so we don't want to power up video transmitter without an antenna plugged in so here it is the one that came with the cord itself so plugging that in and we can now get the smoke stopper and test it out so let's give it a go I'll move this over here I'll plug the battery into these this is a VFly smoke stopper so it saves from any high current draw that uh, is a short um, so it kind of just a safety thing that we use just to protect it all right so <clears throat> plugging the battery into the smoke stopper in when the light is yellow is in standby mode pressing the button here will allow power to be delivered from the battery into the flight controller which then would give power to the video transmitter there are some times when we do power it up like this that the one amp uh, setting by default on the 
Leafly short saver will not allow for the power to be delivered and it will cut out thinking that there's a short. There is this button here that we can press that allows for two amps to be drawn but we have to use that with care um, so we'll try it with the one amp first and then we'll try it with two amp and see how it goes. So I'll try it with one and see if it actually boots up. So three, two, one. All right, there you go. So we have the flight controller powered up and I can see the LED underneath there flashing. I'm not sure if you can see it in there. And also the video transmitter is now flashing those sequences of LEDs that I mentioned earlier, which tells us what power rating it's on and also the uh, channel frequency bands that it's on. So that's currently working. Everything's all wired up and there's no smoke. So. There you go. I hope that uh, helped someone out there. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, please put it down uh, below and I'll try and get to them. Um, I always like to, you know, have a chat with a few people who have the same problems or similar issues that want to talk about. Um, yeah, I'm always happy to talk, uh, to chat. Uh, so yeah, I hope you like that and uh, cheers.